This is the Peter Greenwood Show at the Edinburgh Fringe, and I'm sitting next to somebody. Hello. Hello. Could you tell me your name and your show title and what you do, please? My name is Derek Mitchell. Um, I actually have two shows. Um, my stand-up show is called Double Dutch, and then I have a kind of character, a dark narrative character show called Goblin, and I'm a comedian and performer. Let's, oh, so first off, two shows yeah. at the Edinburgh Fringe. It's, when did you realize you liked torture? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, it's it's a big undertaking, um, but I really love it. I mean, there's nothing I would rather be doing. Um, and they're very different, um, I think, in terms of, like, what they are and what they're like to perform and see. So I think they feel like different kind of projects in my mind. So you can keep them kind of separate and one doesn't yeah. lead into, it, into the other. Exactly, yeah. Yeah. So let's start with Double Dutch. That's your, that's your stand-up show. That is my stand-up show, yes. What is Double Dutch? Tell us about it. So Double Dutch is about, it's really a show kind of about uh, being an immigrant, but um, it's uh, that it's f- fun and silly. Um, I think sometimes maybe if you hear that a show's about being an immigrant, you think it'll be about something serious and, and depressing, which um, being an immigrant can be. But <laughs> um, it's kind of about how as an immigrant, um, no matter what, you know, what your background is or what, what, what your particular profile is at the end of the day, everybody's kind of in this like in between place where they don't really belong where they came from. They don't really belong where they've come to. And that that can be very funny, um, because you're always trying to adapt and adjust to different cultures and languages and, and sensibilities. And everybody around you thinks, takes for granted that those are completely normal, but to you, they might seem absolutely strange and ridiculous. And you just have to kind of deal with that. So I've been an immigrant um, in the UK, in England, and also in the Netherlands. And the show is kind of uh, about bringing together those different elements. And in, in the beginning, it feels like just a kind of stand up show. And then by the end, it kind of turns into something else. What are some of the things you noticed between American and Netherlands culture that you wanted to put into the show and you were like, I have to make sure I touch on this? Well, I think I honestly in the show I have more to say I think about the differences between the Dutch and the English sensibilities. I mean, I left America when I was kind of young and sometimes I'm embarrassed by how uh, I don't really have much to say about what America is like beyond just the strange enthusiasm that all Americans have all the time and how that makes it very difficult to tell the difference between um, the good guys and the bad guys because everybody's just so enthusiastic from morning till night. But I think like I, I'm especially um, delighted by how Dutch people uh, will just say anything that they're thinking all the time, no matter what, even if that's blisteringly mm. frank they're very forward. and rude. Yeah, um, and because they believe if they don't say that out loud, then they're lying. Um, and if you lie, then the Calvinistic God will trap your finger in a dike. Um, but English people are always lying constantly, nonstop. Um, because if they don't lie, then they'll offend somebody. And if you offend somebody, it'll reflect very poorly on you and your family and your community. Oh, yeah. You, you will never be able to stick your head outside your lacy curtain again exactly. if, you, if you lie in England. Exactly. Yeah. So when you put the show together, what was that experience like pulling from your pulling from your experiences? Yeah. I worded that very weirdly. I hope it made sense. <laughs> Um, well, I am a character comedian really originally. And so when I do stand up, I, um, I frame things as a conversation with the audience and I like the audience to feel like a part of the story that's being told. Um, and I, yeah, I tell things as stories and I present characters as characters that I play. Um, and then there's just kind of jokes peppered in all around that. And this show I started doing like work in progresses of in February and I've just been kind of, you know, I've just been doing tons of shows basically since then working out the material. Which brings us nicely on to Goblin. Yeah. What is Goblin? Because I saw a trailer for it, a little bit, little video oh, did clip you? of it. Yes. Yeah. How would you describe it? Goblin is almost like a play, but it's, it's funny. It's a comedy play um, and it's about a, a, a boy, an emo kid, who's 15 in the 2000s. Um, and he is very naive and very sweet and believes in the good in people. And then he falls under the sway of a British reality star who he am, ends up entering in a relationship with. And 
over the course of the show, he grows up and he, he, by the end, he's in his early thirties and he's transformed and he's become somebody who's kind of grotesque and unrecognizable. And it's, people say to me, it's actually also very sad, but I have just a fun time doing it, but it's about kind of, yeah, growing up. And frankly, it's also about, you know, um, people who influence us unduly and, um, how sometimes we as bystanders or spectators watch that happen. But I do, I must stress, it is funny. It is a funny, it is a comedy show. See, that's something I wanted to ask. <laughs> like, is it like a flat out comedy? Mm. And where did it come from? Because it's sad, like, it's a very specific, yeah, specific story. Yeah. Any autobiographical? Yeah, there's autobiographical there elements for sure. I mean, it's, uh, it's not an out and out comedy in the sense that there are moments in it that feel, I think kind of real and it's narrative. So I'm like acting during it, but from beginning to end, there is joke and gag density. So you're laughing through, but um, you know, it's, I think I, you know, I look up to people who make work, you know, at the Edinburgh fringe and in general, that kind of blends genre and, um, is is interested in you know, yeah, mixing kind of influences and and tones and things. There is autobiographical inf- uh, stuff in there for sure, but it's ultimately it is a fictional story that I'm telling. And it must have been fun diving into being a 15 year old emo. Yeah, Were definitely. You an emo at the time? Do you know what I have to say? I'm I was not really an emo, and I I regret that. And I was always actually really impressed by kids who had a strong look. I honestly, when I was like in middle school and high school, I just dressed to blend in. I was just a wallflower, so I didn't I didn't want to stand out at all. But I um yeah, the emo look is a very strong bizarre look and I think the commitment that it takes to just putting that much hair product in your hair and that much eyeliner on your eyes was really impressive from those kids like it's gonna sound like I'm doing a joke but it must take so long to get ready (laughs) with the hair and the makeup and a little I mean I do have it down to a science now um and there's a quick there's a transformation in the show so actually I go from being emo at the beginning and then by the end I also physically look kind of very different where are you taking the show next after the fringe? What's next for the show and for you? Well, Double Dutch, I'm going to be touring um, around Europe and the UK in, in the autumn. Um, Goblin, I don't know. We'll see what happens with Goblin. We're just doing Goblin in a yurt. and But we're building some buzz around it. I mean, it's people, we're having to turn people away every day who want to come see it. And so it's, uh, I don't know what's going to happen. We'll see. If you had to pick one. Someone comes to you and says, you can, from this moment, from this day, one show, Double Dutch or Goblin, for the rest oh of the my Fringe. God. Not, not forever, just for the rest <laughs> of the Just for the rest of this Fringe? I don't know if I can pick. They're really both expressions of who I am as an artist, and um, yeah, they both mean a lot to me. Where can people find out more about you and the shows, the shows online? Uh, you can follow me on social media, so my handle Derek Scott Mitchell that's mostly stuff about Goblin and my handle Let's Double Dutch that's mostly stuff about Double Dutch thank you so much for your time today lovely to meet you thanks for having me Peter Derek Mitchell Double Dutch is playing on the 11th and the 12th and then from the 14th to the 25th of August at the Baby Grand at Pleasant Courtyard at 10 to 11 at night And then Goblin is playing in the Wee Yurt at Hoots at Patterall from the 11th and the 12th and the 14th and the 25th of August at 25 past 3 in the afternoon. To find tickets, go to edfringe.com and search Derek Mitchell. This episode was produced by at VCToria A on Twitter. Go say hello to her. And by myself, Peter Greenwood, who also hosted it. Until next time, bye everybody, bye.